Hey, and happy December and all the Christmassy things. I'm coming to you today from my living room. And because I don't have a proper mic set up outside of my office, you're getting this little mini mic. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I got this for five bucks on Amazon and the sound is pretty good. Today, I thought I would share some observations that I've had throughout the entire year from coaching some really brilliant ADHD minds and share the one thing that I think perhaps hangs up the majority of my clients and to be honest, myself and how I think we can all go about fixing it. And I'm speaking mostly to myself right now because I need to hear this. So I coached a lot of great clients this year. Majority of them had ADHD or suspected that they did. And the running theme that I saw through all of them was that they all had this sense that they wanted to do more, that they had the potential to do more, and that they had so much that they wanted for themselves, but they continuously got in their own way, either because of limiting stories or distraction and lack of ability to follow through on the things that were most important to them, and also prioritization. Like we just struggle with prioritizing what's most important and what's going to get us closer to the life we want to live. And I've been thinking about that a lot lately, mostly because I struggle with it too. And the question that I've been grappling with that I think is something that each of us needs to answer in order to get past all of these things is truly understanding what is it that you really want. At the end of the day, very often we prioritize the needs of others over our own, not just because of people pleasing or just wanting to be liked and accepted, but a lot of it stems from the fact that we don't actually know what we want. So when somebody else asks us to do something, the natural inclination is to say yes to whatever crosses our path. And I learned very recently that there's actually a term for that, and it's called impulsive compliance. <laughs> so if you are somebody who says yes to requests from others, agrees to go to things before you really think about it, or it can also show up as purchasing things that are presented to you, even though you know you probably won't use it or need it, if there's one thing that I think is at the root of all of our procrastination and lack of follow through, it really does start with that impulsive compliance. Because when we're not connected to what it is we want and we're out in the world observing all of the various different things that we could potentially have, it's very easy to say yes because they're all sparkly, shiny, new and novel things. And we love new and novel things. But then we end up with too much, either too much stuff in our environments, too much stuff on our calendar, too much stuff on our credit card bills, and it holds us back. And I know that's an oversimplification. There's a lot of reasons why we get in our own way, but I have this strong belief that this idea of impulsive compliance is one of the first things that trips us up. And I know this not only anecdotally in my own life, but I keep seeing it, my clients, I talked about it a few weeks ago with one particular client who just constantly said yes to all the things because she knew people needed her and she wanted to help. She had a genuine desire to help others, but in doing so, she was hindering herself. And if I'm being honest, speaking for myself, it's that I don't spend enough time thinking about what I truly need. And then I do things like pick up my phone and look at Instagram or YouTube. I will not get on TikTok. I absolutely will not. Or even just TV or walking through shops and things like that. There's, there's so many things coming at me all the time and they all look so good. So I have this impulsiveness to acquire them without thinking, is this aligned to what it is that I really want and what I really need? And to be honest, I know what I need. And it's really not any of those things. And yet I'm still compelled towards them. And it's a constant daily struggle to bring myself back to what my needs are. And what I've realized recently is that even though I know myself very well, I know my needs, I know my strengths, I know my values, what I haven't tapped into at a very visceral level lately is my wants. And you can call that goals or desires, but for me, it comes from a deeper place. A goal feels very performance-driven in my mind. 
And then I'm not throwing any shade on goals. I do set them. But for me, it's really about what do I want for myself in this season of life? So I've spent a lot of time over the past several weeks thinking about as we move into this new year, what is it that I want for myself at this point in my life? And before the pandemic, the desire was for more space, more space on my schedule, more space in my home, more space in my head. And I've had that. And then if anything, what's happened over the past couple of years has really magnified that element of space. And while I still cherish my space, this year I want something different. What I want still aligns to this idea of space because I still want to have space on my calendar. When I left my corporate job, I celebrated the thought that I now had autonomy over my schedule. But what I've realized since I started coaching is that's not altogether true because I still have appointments with clients. So even though I can pick and choose when my coaching hours are, I still need to show up for the clients that come to me. And while I will never stop coaching one-on-one -on -one or in group settings because that's really what keeps me connected to this community. I know that for 2023, I want to expand the freedom in my schedule. Freedom and flexibility is my highest value. And even though I love coaching and I will continue to coach, it doesn't align to freedom and flexibility. I am still in my office on Zoom calls all day long, and that does not align well to my energy levels. If you are someone with ADHD, you will know exactly what I'm saying when I say that some days my energy is unpredictable. Some days it's great, it's off the charts, and on those days I can give and give to my clients, to my creative work, all of it. But then there's other days when I wake up and I don't even want to get out of bed. And I don't say that from a place of feeling depressed. It's a place of knowing that my batteries are empty and I need to slow my roll and just take care of myself at a very intense level for a good 24 to 48 hours. And then I'm back to all cylinders again. And if I were able to control that rhythm, life would be great. But unfortunately, I don't have that control over my energy rhythm. So for me, having a schedule that can bend towards that fluctuating energy level is a lot better for me. So this brings me to an idea that I've shared before around asynchronous work, where my output is not dependent on showing up and doing a certain thing on a certain day. I find that my output and my creativity and my productivity is so much better when I can align it to how I feel on any given day. So when I think about this, what it boils down to is wanting to continue doing everything that I'm doing, but differently, in a way that's more asynchronous. In the online business space, they would call it passive revenue, but there's really nothing passive about it because you create something and you put it out in the world and you support it, but it's not dependent on a scheduled time and place. I don't need to show up for something. I don't need to commit a very specific time on my calendar for it. And that is more of the work that I wanna lean into in 2023. But I also want to do that with very rich connection with my community because if I'm not connected to my community, then I'm not connected to what you all need. So I don't know exactly what that looks like for 2023, but I do know that it means less one-on-one -on -one coaching, more group coaching, and also more asynchronous coaching. I also see that in creating things that I can put out for the community that are going to be more longstanding. I've already built a Notion template that has done really well. I have a productivity course, specially designed for ADHDers, that has done really well. And I want to continue doing those programs but also finding more ways to connect to the community without putting a bunch of stuff on my calendar so that I can just show up and be myself and talk with you guys in a way that is mutually beneficial. So that was a bit of a tangent. <laughs> and I share it because I think it's really important, especially as we're coming into the school setting season, to think about what you really want. Get very clear on it. And I truly believe that you can become connected to that a lot easier when you know your needs, your strengths, and your values. And to that end, I think I've shared this before, but 
The first several modules within my Distraction Action Program, they're going to help you understand what your character strengths are, what your personal values are, and what your personal needs are. And from there, you've got so much more self-awareness to come up with what it is that you really want for yourself in 2023 and give yourself the opportunity to think about what that looks like based on your energy and your work style and your communication and connection style so that you can build a life that's less exhausting. And I think that's something that we all are looking for. So with that said, I've been thinking a lot about how can I demonstrate to this community how to really drill down on what it is you want and then set up the structure and guardrails you need to go after it. And I want to do it in a way that is behind the scenes and is telling a story, but is also instructional and helpful for you guys. So I think what I'm going to do in this new year is share a very specific goal that I have around what I've just shared and walk you through how I'm going to plan that goal and Every month, I'm going to share the progression of it and everything I'm doing to create the structure and boundaries I need to move it forward. I don't have all of the details yet, but I will share a video later this month with what the goal is and how I'm going to share it with you. So if that sounds interesting to you or helpful, I would love to hear what your thoughts are or if there's something specific that would help you get clear on what your wants are and how you can plan for it over the next coming year. And also, if you want to get my program, I will link that below as well. And I hope this wasn't too rambly. <laughs> hope it was helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.